respect, families, and love. And it is time for Illinois to join 14 other states in the District of Columbia and have marriage equality for all of its citizens. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be home. It's great to be anywhere other than Washington, D.C. Sometimes there are moments in life when something very complicated becomes very simple. It was three years ago I attended the bill signing ceremony when President Barack Obama repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell. At that ceremony, a Jewish rabbi gave the invocation. I remember his words to this day. He said, when you look in the eyes of another, if you don't see the face of God, at least see the face of another human being. I remember that because I thought, at the bottom line, that's what brings us together. We are all in this common situation of being humanity. But America, America says we want all people to be created not only in an equal fashion, but in America, all people, all humans, have the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What we're talking about today in Illinois is offering to people, gay and lesbian, an opportunity for that happiness, an opportunity for marriage equality. It is that basic. And now that the Supreme Court has ruled, I say to members of the Illinois House of Representatives, you will have an awesome historic decision. Will you offer to everyone married in our state, regardless, straight, gay, lesbian, whatever, will you offer them the same federal benefits or will you discriminate against some? That's what it comes down to. My friends, in this town, under this dome, in just a short time, the men and women of the Illinois House of Representatives will have a chance to validate what we call the land of Lincoln. A man who in his leadership not only united this nation, but said we will stop, we will begin to stop the discrimination against some of our own. That is what this issue is about as well. Join me. I'm going to be making the calls. I know you'll be making the calls urging the members of the Illinois House of Representatives to bring equality to this land of Lincoln, to make sure that men and women, gay and straight, across our state and across our nation have that same opportunity, that same humanity that binds us together. Let's go get the votes. Thanks, everybody. Well, it's an honor to be here in the shadow of our state capitol, which is the symbol of government of the people with the statue of Abraham Lincoln, one of the most memorable statues of Abraham Lincoln, uh, looking right at us. And over here, Dr. Martin Luther King, who understood that uh, equal rights are for everybody. Dr. King said that a long time ago. And here we are, 50 years after the March on Washington, we're here to march on Springfield to make sure that our House of Representatives uh, takes a vote on a very, very important civil rights measure. I said a moment or two ago in the Capitol, this is our hour, this is our moment, this is where we the people come together. And it's so impressive to see, no matter what the weather, the people of Illinois are strong, they're good and true. They understand doing the right thing is always the right time to do that right thing. And this moment, this moment, is very, very important. We believe in marriage equality. We believe in love. There was a writer who wrote a letter almost 2,000 years ago. He said, love is patient, love is kind, love never fails. We need love to pass the marriage equality bill into law, and I'll sign it as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Everybody.